Hey Mike, this is Frank from Max Digital and I wanted to shoot you over this quick video with some specific things that you guys can do yourself to help bring in more business just by better utilizing both your website and your Google business profile. So I see you guys do uh, plumbing in the Baltimore area. So I ran a quick Google search for Plumbers Baltimore and this is the search results that page that comes up. And so since 90% of the people never click past the first page, you're going to want to try to get on this first page as many times as possible if you're looking to grow your business. Uh, so the first page is just the advertiser. So if you're not looking to pay Google advertising dollars, then you're going to really want to focus on getting into the second and third section of this page. The second section here is known as the Google Map Pack, and it's based on the strength of your Google business profile and only consists of three businesses. So uh, since 30 to 40 percent of the traffic is going to go to, to these businesses, it's critical if you're looking to grow to get into this section. But again, it's based on the strength of your Google business profile, which I guess which I see you guys have set up. Um, so just a couple things about this. You're going to want to uh, keep this profile active by continuing to get customer reviews, uploading photos to the site regularly. You want to have more photos than your competitors have. And in this area here, this description, you're going to want to try to use up as much of the 750 characters as they give you. And then they tr try to include uh, local buyer intent keyword phrases in there. And we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, so getting back to here. So Aside from just updating your profile and keeping that active, the second most important thing you can do is um, having your business listed in more online directories than these competitors are listed in. Google is a popularity contest, and they are going to see who is the most frequently mentioned plumbers in Baltimore, and those are the ones that get into the map pack. So uh, the way you do that is you get yourself listed in online directories. Um, there's thousands of them out there like Yelp.com, Angie's List, Home Advisor, and so forth. And many of them are free to join. You just want to go out to, and it takes time to go out to each of those sites and enter in your name, address, and phone number the exact same way you have it set up here with Google in your Google business profile. You don't want Google to get confused, but if you, you know, use a different phone number or different address uh, in some of those directories, they all have to be the same so that Google sees them all as one company and you can outnumber these guys in terms of the the, uh, the number of mentions you have online. So that's how you get into the into the map pack. And then the last section down here is known as the organic listings. And to rank high in the organic listings, it's based on the strength of your content and your backlinks profile. And so these first few sites here are all uh, those directory sites I was talking about before. Uh, but once you finally get down below that, you see Warrior Plumbing, which is actually one of the companies that we just saw on the map pack above. Uh, but they are the number one ranking website in Baltimore, uh, even though I don't think they are the most popular uh, plumbing company in Baltimore. But anyway, uh, just, just compare your content backlinks to Warrior Plumbing's. So I can see here that you, uh, you, ha you don't have kind of what Google looks for. They look for 1,500 to 2,000 words on your homepage for you to be considered an authoritative site or an expert in the niche. And getting to that threshold will definitely help you in your ranking, but you definitely want to make sure you have more content than your competitor has uh, because that is part of the, the ranking equation is how much content you have on your site and whether they can view you as the expert in the area. So, um, but it's not just about the number of words you have on your page. It's also about the uh, making sure that you have what's known as local buyer intent keyword phrases embedded into your content and that can th be through either the verbiage or you can embed them into the images on your site um, but either way th those are the keyword phrases you want your business to be found for and that that's not only just found for by the internet uh, searchers but that's f found for by google uh, google has to make sure that they see that your content matches up well to what's being searched um, so anyway, um, because you are a service provider, you want your keyword phrases to be local buyer intent keyword phrases, which means that they reference both the service you provide and the location you provide those services in. So I use this tool here called Arrows to just analyze different websites. So here's your website, and I can see you're ranking for 42 different keywords. So when I click on there, uh, I can see for, um, the first few are your name when somebody's Googling you directly. Uh, but then you have some of these are local buyer intent keywords, like actually most of these are. Uh, and so, that, so that's good. But the, the issue, I think, being that since you're ranking on the second and third and fourth pages for these, is that you don't have enough content on your site. And so you're not able to mention the, these as frequently as you, as you could if you had more content in there. Uh, and the more times you have it mentioned in your site, 
in your in your content, the more likely it is that Google's going to recognize you as pertaining to the search. So that is, um, and one day, one way to do that is to have, and it looks like uh, you do already have it, which is great. You have location pages, so that's an opportunity for you to, you know, take each one of those pages, mention the uh, the local buyer intent keyword phrases and you can do keyword research to see what those phrases are and how often they're searched so you can make sure that you're including the most frequently searched terms in each of those cities into those pages and your home page really should be your page that has the most uh, the most searches so it, it probably Baltimore would be my guess is the one that has going to have the most plumbing searches um, so I would probably make your home page you know be very Baltimore centric and so when I was looking at this I just did a quick search for uh, so plumbing is mentioned seven times but Baltimore is mentioned only five times on your home page and so you know your competitor is doing you know 13 times uh, for plumbing and 11 times for Baltimore so that's why it, that's helping them to get uh, to rank higher in that organic section the other thing I wanted to talk about was your backlinks. So your backlinks uh, are just, you know, links from other websites over to your website and they give legitimacy to your site in Google's eyes because they act as an endorsement of your site by those other sites. So you want to beat your competitors in backlinks, just like I was saying before, Google's a popularity contest. So, you know, if you have more good sites linked to you, that's going to provide more power to you in your rankings. And so, and it's not just about quantity here, it's also about quality. So you want to be linked to authoritative sites, not spammy sites. And um, just looking at quantity, you have 33 backlinks from 10 referring, unique referring domains, and your competitor has 562 backlinks from 190 uh, unique referring domains. So step one, I guess, would be to add more backlinks. Well, step one is to fix your content, add more content, have it uh, include all those local buyer intent keyword phrases as, as frequently as you can. Uh, and then build, continuing to build backlinks uh, would be kind of like the last step. Um, but again, have to be quality backlinks from trusted sites. And you can tell that um, by looking at your competitor, clicking on these referring domains, seeing what sites they're linked to, and grabbing the ones that have the higher DR scores. Uh, websites are given a DR score by Google. That's the trust score uh, that they have with them and a score of 30 or higher is considered a strong site. So those would be the ones that you would want to try to replicate. So a lot of them are just going to be online directories. Some will be blog posts. You can go register on those uh, with those directories that have the higher DR scores and, and try to maybe uh, get a blog uh, site pointed back to your site as well if it has a high DR score. So hopefully that information was helpful. That should uh, definitely improve your rankings quite a bit. Um, and therefore drive a lot of additional business. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. If you wouldn't mind just responding to the email to let me know if the information was helpful, I'd appreciate it so that, that I can continue to add value to small businesses. Thanks and look forward to hearing from you.